Hello Scorpio, I hope you had a beautiful relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Scorpio. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for this sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. Let's do this again. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. Let's see, Scorpio, what's popping Hmm. Drama unfolding uh, between different people. Uh, and it's really uh, draining you. Yeah, so there's a bunch of people that are bickering, arguing, not getting along, trying to drag you into that drama. And it's really draining you. This is you trying to find a way not to be negatively affected by the group of people that is draining you with the shenanigans, whether it's at your job, uh, in the family, circle of friends, neighborhood. This is you trying to get away from those people. They're going to try to reconcile with you. Be careful. Yes, be on peaceful grounds with them, but do, be careful trusting them because they're going to drain you more. That's what they do. They're used to this kind of behavior. It's a pattern for them. They like drama. They like chaos. They like gossip. Yeah, do not allow toxic people come back to you. They're just going to drain you more. Yes, be, a, be on peaceful terms with them, but be careful how you associate with them. Oh, boy. Yeah, you see, this is you trying to figure out how to do this because they're affecting you negatively each time you have to deal with them. Mm -hmm. hmm. Mm. This is you. Somebody loves you. Let me see. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life. And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah. So the soulmate you're letting go of is not communicating effectively. They are poor communicators, poor listeners. They love you deeply, though. Yeah, this person lost you. They feel like they're losing you or have lost you already. So they see a difference in your behavior towards them. Whether you told them goodbye or are silent or both, this person sees a difference in your behavior towards them. New soulmate popping up here for you. I love the new soulmate's energy. King of Wands, King of Action. Someone that you know from past lifetimes. Remember, Scorpio, you have free will to decide what you want to do, who you want to be with, whether you want to give this person another chance, new soulmate a chance, or be alone for a while. That's up to you. You are in control of your life. Yes, we have to meet certain people. It's destiny, right? We have to meet certain individuals, but higher power universe respect your free will, right? Without free will, we wouldn't learn anything if everything was predetermined, right? Yeah. You feel so alone, um, misunderstood by people. Yeah. Whoever these people are that are bickering with each other, <clears throat> there's loss of money because of their behavior. So, for example, if it's at your job, they're so busy gossiping, uh, creating shenanigans, being chaotic, they don't finish their tasks. Whenever there is mismanagement of resources and mismanagement of people, there's loss of money. Also, for some of you that are dealing with family members, they're going to try to uh, drain you financially. Be careful. You're not responsible for other people's financial karma. They need to balance their own financial karma. Take accountability for their frivolous spending habits. 
You are not the bank. You are not to be paying other people's bills because they will never learn their lessons. They will never learn how to manage money correctly, how to take accountability for their mistakes in life. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. You have to protect your finances. Yeah. Financial stability is extremely important. Yeah. So you have to protect yourself emotionally, financially, from people who bring chaos into your life. Universe, please show us. Hmm. These people are draining you. So for some of you, it's at work. For some of you, it's in a family. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio. How is Scorpio currently doing? Yeah. These people are arguing with each other. The soulmate that you're letting go of is silent right now. They want to break this silence. Yeah, so for a lot of you, this is happening in your family, drama in the family. Oh, I love your energy compared to the new soulmate's energy. You see this? The two of you, the you, the your energy and their uh, energy match each other. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. How beautiful is this? Uh, you and the new soulmate know each other from many past incarnations. So you're supposed to meet again. You're going to have to meet them. Uh, but what you do with each other will be up to the both of you, how you treat each other, whether you want to give this a chance or not. Your energy is beautiful. You're showing up as highly vibrational empress with high standards, integrity. You have a lot to offer in all sorts of relationships, not just romantic. So make sure you keep your standards high. Never lower your standards. Don't allow people to use you. Yeah. Do not allow people to use you in any way. Yeah, you you cannot let negative people hang around you because they're going to drain you. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us because that's what negative people do. They drain other people. Yeah, you cannot allow that to happen. Yeah, universe, you have to have very strong boundaries. Yeah, universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing? Yeah, this is you going through a lot of emotional roller coasters because of other people. Yeah, you see this? So those negative people that are bickering, fighting, gossiping, arguing with each other, trying to drag you in, really project their insecurities, their toxic energy onto you. Do not let people do that to you, confuse you, make you doubt yourself. Yeah, my gosh, you feel drained. Yeah, you feel unappreciated. Oh, yeah, those people are toxic. Yeah, this is you needing to walk away from toxic environment, whether it's toxic family, toxic environment at your job. So the job is not toxic. The environment, the people that surround you are toxic. It's time to say bye-bye. Find something first. If it's a job, for a lot of you, it's a job. Find something first that you feel comfortable with, then leave on peaceful grounds without burning any bridges. Yeah. Talk, as far as toxic relatives are concerned, you have to love them from a distance. Yeah. Toxic relatives will drain your energy and resources if you allow them. You have to love toxic relatives from a distance. You cannot let people do that to you. No. Universe, please show us. Huh. I left mine across the ocean literally back in 2002 was the last time I saw them or spoke to them. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want toxic relatives in my life. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I deserve solid, vibrant life. Yeah, I don't want to deal with toxic people. Mm, no, thank you. Yeah, you deserve solid people in your life, Scorpio, because you are solid. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. That Scorpio is letting go of that just showed up as king of swords. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio? And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? They respect you a lot. They view you as wise, marriage material, attractive. They have a lot of respect for you. Yeah, they now realize your worth value. Now they want to come towards you with a solid offer. 
Oh boy, but they showing up as a knight, which shows me that this person's used to wishy-washy behavior, being in and out of people's lives. You don't know how badly they want to see you, reconcile with you, spend time with you, gain your trust again. Yeah, they really let you down because six of pentacles is reversed. So this person sees clearly what they did wrong and why they lost you or are losing you, perhaps. Yeah, this person sees very clearly. Mm -hmm. The question is, what will they do about it, right? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. That Scorpio is letting go of. And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? You don't know how badly this person wants to see you. Yeah, you feel like you have to be on guard emotionally with certain family members of yours. <clears throat> yeah, like you have to defend yourself. Like you cannot trust them. That's how you feel because of their behavior towards you, the, the toxic relatives in your life. Yeah, you see this? You have some nosy relatives who want to know all of your business. Relatives who don't have your back, who gossip about you. Yeah, be careful who you trust with your personal information. You have a lot of chaotic people around you who love to bring drama to other people. Stay away from people who gossip, who are negative, who are jealous, who always have chaos. Mm -hmm. Do not participate in the gossip shenanigans. The person that you're letting go of, the soulmate, wants to make amends with you. They want to clear the air with you, communicate with you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So you have drama in the family and drama at work. You see this? <sighs> yeah, you need to have very solid boundaries for these people to respect. You cannot let toxic people come back to you because they're going to drain you more, waste more of your time and energy. Yeah, you try to walk away from them. You're trying to walk away to let go of toxic people yeah <clears throat> the person hmm wow what's going on here so some of these toxic people are a cause of misunderstandings between you and your soulmate yeah you really need to talk to your soulmate one-on-one -on -one in a neutral place face to face that's the only way to communicate effectively none of that text messaging uh, FaceTiming, emailing, no, no. Real effective way to communicate, especially after misunderstandings, breakups, is face-to-face -face communication in a neutral place away from people. Yeah, when you calm, right? We have to be calm uh, to communicate effectively. Yeah, so you have some people who you know that um don't have your back who are gossiping who are creating problems in your relationship mm -hmm. with your soulmate wow universe please show us hmm. what's going on currently with the soulmate of scorpio that scorpio is letting go of yeah you see they realize your worth value now. They realize how important you are to them, how much you mean to them, the sun. They see very clearly what they need to do. But the question is, will they do it? Yeah, you see? So you have a bunch of chaotic people. It's showing up over and over and over again that are sabotaging your relationship. Yeah. You need to be careful who you trust with your personal information, who you consider trustworthy, because these people are not trustworthy. They don't have your back. It's quite the opposite. They like to see more drama in your life. Yeah. You see this? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. This person here is not... Uh, trying to hurt you on purpose no they not but there's a lot of misunderstanding between the two of you that needs to be settled through communication 
open line of communication, face-to-face -face communication in a neutral place between you two away from people and drama and chaos and gossip. <sighs> They're trying to figure out, is it too late to talk to you? How to approach you? Should I wait for you? Yeah, this person is worried that they lost you for good. You really need to sit down together and communicate with each other effectively. New soulmate is popping up again as king of wands. Interesting. So you're going to be meeting new soulmate regardless because you're supposed to meet them. Remember, you can be their friend, acquaintance, more than a friend if you decide to. That's going to be up to your free will actions. Of course, they have free will as well, just like you do on how they want to proceed. Um, so never give your free will away to anyone. As an adult, you have the right to use your free will the way you want to to live your life the way you want to. And that includes who you want to marry, have kids with, what you want to do for a living, where you want to live, who you want to live with. That's your decision, right? And if people judge you, that's not your problem. You have the right to live your life the way you want to without explaining yourself to anybody, without getting anyone's approval, right? We're going to go into your extended reading, Scorpio. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate entering your life that showed up as King of Wands. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life the king of wands energy new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so scorpio click on the extended extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys